up guys and welcome back we're here with another episode of our 1212 AD campaign as the Empire of Trebizond and in the last episode we took Ankyra from the Seljuks and um, mainly because of the Seljuk pretenders we're now going to be focused on taking out the Empire, Empire of Nicaea they are uh, they're kind of in the way now of uh, getting to Constantinople so the armies of Trebizond shall be marching westwards again um, Thank you so much for the support in the last episode and the episode before that. Um, I do really, really appreciate it. So keep it up with your likes and subscribe if you're new around here. Um, and your comments if you've got any suggestions or anything that you'd like me to try and do in this campaign. Um, anyway, on with the episode. So in today's episode, I think I'm planning to take out either... Well, we could actually go straight for Nicaea. Which could be a decent opportunity. I would like to get a spy of some sort. But I'm probably going to have to build a tavern to get a spy or something. Because I don't really think I'm going to be able to get any priests anytime soon. Which is what I would have preferred to have done. But it doesn't look like it's going to be happening anytime soon. So I'm probably going to end the, epi uh, end the episode. End the turn. And we're going to see what happens. I don't, I don't know whether there's anyone we can trade with. Anyone new? No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll end the, uh, end the turn. And we'll see who does, who does what. See whether Nicaea dares to march out and attack me. I have a feeling they won't. I'm feeling they're probably occupied doing their own thing. Let's see. Oh, no, nothing as expected. don't think anyone's going to really do anything. I've not seen, found many factions, so I don't think I'm really going to be having a problem with a lot, that many uh, factions as of yet. I'm, certainly we could do more trade. Soldier pretenders, they are starving. Hostile Empire Nicaea, oh success. What did he succeed in doing? Encouraged dissent. Oh well. A mission issued. Be at war with the Kipchaks. I don't really want to do that. They're not someone I want to be going to war with. Not even in the right direction. Um, I'm going to move this army to Ma Ma Malatya. Trebizond can afford to take the extra little bit of a hit. Uh, that's now a minus one. You can still recruit the same sort of stuff. We're bringing in a pretty nice income now. So I could afford to put in some of the troops. I'm probably going to put in some swords. Don't really like the prices of our uh, in, of our infantry. Um, I'm just gonna bring this army up here. Actually, I might force march into Ankara. What can we recruit in Ankara? Absolutely nothing. But we could get more Georgian swords, which I might do. Get some more Georgian swords, and I'd like more Georgian lances, but I'm okay. I'm going to march on Nicaea, I think. We'll see what they have. Uh, Ankara. Oh, you can't actually reach Ankara this turn. That's a shame. Um, okay, so you're going to besiege Nicaea because they have no army there. Perfect. Right, let's put some ladders up and we are good to go. Right, that's perfect. Perfect. Right. Um... Why do you hate me so much? Religious instability or oh, differences. Instability is minus seven. Well, we're sorting out all of those problems as we speak. So that's fine. Um, I need to find more people to trade with because all of these nations here, like Latin Empire, Principality of Achaia, all like me and are trading with me. And I need to take them out at some point. Because they're in my way of expansion. And I need to take the Latin Empire to reform the Byzantine Empire. So we're going to need to find some new people to trade I with. Welcome you on behalf of the people. And, and you do like me. But I could do with finding some more people. I don't know. I could do with building a tavern somewhere. Do you have a tavern? No, but you have, you have an ability to build priests. Excellent. Right, so we'll be taking Nicaea anytime soon. Um... You're just recruiting stuff. Uh, 
You're very expensive, you guard archers, but you look very, very handy. Um, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna save my money. What are we getting in technology? We are getting religious buildings. Okay, that works. Yeah, our cost for religious building is pretty high. Um, anything we can do for faction? Could we. We can't promote you. You could adopt. Is there anyone here I'd like to adopt, really? The general, possibly? He is for loyalty. I could adopt the general. Why not? Let's just adop adopt this guy. He's pretty cool. Oh, governor. I'd rather adopt a governor. Oh, he's a general as well. Uh, let's adopt the younger one. Oh, let's. I don't, oh, he's in Malatya. He's not going to actually be doing anything. And the other one's in Ankara. Oh, we'll see. That we could, we'll do that for now. Uh, end the turn. Don't need to adopt him, but, you know, we've got the extra... Uh, I don't know, Gravitas, so we might as well do something with it instead of just doing nothing. After Nicaea, I probably will knock out the uh, Nicaean Empire, so I just don't have another faction that I've got to fight another front on while I'm trying to deal with the Latin Empire. Also gives me more money, so the effects of trade with the Latin Empire won't be so massive when I do break that trade. Nicaea, I imagine, is going to send an army over. Yep. Yeah. I'm probably... I could fight this. I've got more cav. I will fight this. I think we can win this. So, I will fight this and uh, probably see you guys on the battlefield. So, I will see you in a minute. So, we are back on the battlefield. This is the, sli uh, the setup I've gone with. It's a uh, basically just arched out the front with all our infantry sort of like in one thin line. Um, I'm so glad I got that second unit of Georgian swords, they're going to be very handy. Um, I've got spears on the flanks, just kind of in case of cavalry, and these uh, extra spears on the flanks are going to be there to support my cavalry. Um, these ones, these kind of spears are just kind of for flanking and just holding the line. These ones are going to try and eat the flank around, or scare off any cavalry and support my cavalry, uh, certainly these melee cavalry, and any fights. So, Let's get underway and we'll see what happens. Let's try and destroy this army, first army, as quickly as possible. Um, because that will be very key. Let's just put you in a uh, skirmish road. I'm going to have to focus down their cav. They've got extra reinforcements. Where are they coming from? Oh, the left. Okay, they are moving towards them. No, they're not. No, they're not. Um, they've got pikes, so I'm just going to focus them down with archers, as would be the uh, play in any, any game. They have a lot of militia spears, so I'm thinking their quality is not great. I may overcome their quality. It's just their quantity I'm worried about. I could actually, ooh. I might take the melee cav. They have no cav in this army, and I could ride down their archers. Um, let's move up this army a little bit more, trying to get it engaged. Let's move it to there. Where are you moving to? That's fine, actually. You're perfectly fine going there. But let's just try and keep the general safe. I know he... I'm going to try and keep him with the uh, cavalry. Keep him as a last reserve. I need to send him in. But, I mean, if we kill all these archers, that would be very handy. And all these peltasts and stuff. Well, they got crossbows as well. Would be handy to kill these guys. Actually, no. Just get a bit nearer. See if they react. They are going to react by sending some crossbows. They're sending all their missiles just to... They're not going to send their pikes in. Okay. And they're going to send their cavalry... Okay. Perfect, right. So they're actually not... Go in there and kill some um, guys. Are they turning their pikes around? Sort of, yes. Go as far through these guys as you can. Okay, they're being very slow with moving up their cavalry. Um, you do that. You flank round. You start harassing. Yeah, because I sent him in to get killed. Well, not to get killed. 
Oh no, we don't want him getting killed. This is our Pazalius, or Emperor of our own. Um, let's just get him out of there. Let's get all of them out of there. The pikes are coming through. Pikes are coming. So if we can keep this cavalry just occupying this army, that's fine. I'm sure I can beat the other army. And they have pikes, which are very unwieldy. I'm going to lose a few cavalry, I think, but it's worth it. Um, get over there, and you can just harass these guys. Oh, spears, pull back. Um, swords, spears, go in there. Harass these guys. Um, go there. Just do something like that. That's perfect. They've got more cav. My calves got out of this alive. Just. Well, I say just. It's very much okay. Hold your line. Oh dear, they've done that well as the AI. They've got this cat ca in behind. They may cause some havoc. Um, but I can cause havoc. Oh no, they're going to commit them here. Okay, that's fine. Um, we don't need all this infantry over here now. Um, I might need the cav though back here. Just to smash them behind. You just harass the general. Keep harassing the general. Um, can you kill those guys, please? Archers, focus down. The archers. Um, archers, focus on pikes as well. Don't know how these swords are losing. I presume they would have beaten most of these guys. Charge into the back. Charge into the back. Yep, yeah, that's fine. We're fine with that. Um, they've rallied those spears. That's perfect. We need to kill their general really quickly, though. Run all these guys down. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's devastating. It's pretty devastating. Right, get those spears in there. Why are you just standing there? Swords, you need a rally. Focus these guys down. Come on. I mean, the general's going to break. Excellent. That's actually perfect. That is perfect. Right. We've got their missile cav. Excellent indeed. Right. The general is dead. So it should turn into a rout from here on in. Focus these pikes down. Um, ride these guys down. Our men are breaking off. Okay, our men are broken off here. These are uh, lancers. Get them out. Um, archers, focus these guys down right in front of you. Uh, don't fight them. Pull back, pull back. Don't fight these guys. Um... Actually, you go into here. Charge these guys. Don't know if that's going to work or not. We'll find out. Um, you go in there. Lancers. I had some more lancers over here. Oh, they're getting killed off. Oh, they are getting killed very quickly off. Oh, that was stupid of me. That's a, I could have done with that unit. Run them get, run them down. Where am I with this unit of lancers? Uh, Missile cab, no. Mm, uh, no, we don't want to do that. They've set up in time. Um, get out of there. Cav, come on this way. You, General, go over there. Run them down. Perfect. Right, get out of that. Get out of that. Get out of that. Cavalry, run away. Cavalry, run away. Uh, focus them down. Focus them down. Um, kill them. 
run these guys down. That's perfect. We just need to keep all of our infantry unengaged. I don't really want you in there, actually. One of our units can no longer fire. One of our units can no longer fire. Oh, it's the unit I've just selected. Well, that's fine. We're just running down all their stuff back here. Kill them. Don't kill the. Um, just don't run into their pikes. We've got plenty of infantry. Oh, archers, sorry, to focus down their pikes. Focus these guys down. Focus these guys down. Um, you pull back. Um, you just keep running these guys down. That's a lot of guys that need killing. Um, you run down some of these guys. Um, let's just not have you do that, please. Thank you. Um, archers again. I'm going to... Oh, not archers. Uh, infantry, I'm going to tell you to pull out of that fight. That's just not a fight you want to fight. Okay, we've broken those spears. That's great. Um, kill these guys, please. I don't know. Just kill someone. Uh, you guys just need to keep pulling back. It's a very cheesy tactic, but it's what I'm going to play against these pikes. They brought a lot of pikes this fight. It's not someone or some guys I really want to fight. Um, you focus down these pikes now. And I need to save my infantry for any assault that I've got to do on the final one, though. I don't know if I will have to fight, do a final assault. I'm going to bring you guys round. Uh, can you go over there, please? Oh, they bring in the, They did bring their pikes down, actually, for a moment. Um, but look at that. I'm not going to charge into a pipe block like that. It's just stupid. Um, just kill these guys now. Oh, they broke. Perfect. Um, they broke. Perfect. And they broke. There's been a chain route, hasn't there? Yeah. There has been a chain route. Perfect. Right. Let's kill these last guys off then. Quickly kill these guys off, and we're done. Perfect. Well, I'm sorry you didn't get to see much like close-up action. That was kind of uh, a little bit stressful. I did, a pike, if there wasn't so many pikes, I would have been perfectly fine showing you stuff, uh, some more action. But there you go, some more battles, which uh, I know a few of you weren't happy that I was just simming some of them. But there we go. There is uh, no no one left live. So a decisive victory. We end the battle. And uh, there we go. We basically destroyed the army. We, our spears and a bit of our cav is a bit beaten up. But we should get everything back. Which is perfect. Um, and yeah, we should be okay. Um, I think uh, we'll probably be able to take Nicaea now. Which is their capital. There we go. I'm probably going to replenish any men because they are still Greeks. Replenish those forces. Help out a bit. What's happening over there? Oh, George is getting beaten back. George has been beaten back. Just lost an entire stack. Good thing I'm not fighting that war. Perfect. Right. Well, not really perfect. I don't really want George to be losing that war. Um, Andronicus died. Well, he was. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna decree it. We'll decree it. That's fine. He's just gained a load of XP. Um, Latya's gonna rebel. Whatever happens. Um, I've encountered the Abbasids. Don't think I've actually encountered the Abbasids yet in any of my other campaigns. Well, I certainly didn't encounter them in my uh, Jerusalem one, but they've really expanded. Let's see if I can get trade with them. Welcome, no. Emissary. No, I can't. It's a shame. Um, Where was I wanting to build a... I'd like to build a church here. It's still costing a lot. Oh. Um, can I get any money out of anyone else? No, probably not. I don't think any of my children have come of age either, so I can't just get them.
get an easy bit of money through marriage. This is a shame. Um, you could adopt someone as well. Uh, don't really know if I want to adopt anyone. I'll just get you to gain some support, gather some, some support. Uh, words. Um, and now I'm. Oh no! Don't really want to. Well, yeah, that's fine. You just attack like that. Aggressive. Kill these guys. There we go. And the emperor has taken Nicaea. Or the soon-to-be emperor, I should say, Alexius. He will be the soon-to-be emperor. At your command. There we go. Right, so we'll just repair everything here. Uh, so that's just all our money, really. Which isn't so great, but... Hey. I don't know if I really want a blacksmith. I think I might knock that down. Put in something... Um, something better. Something better. Yes, maybe maybe some food. Food, it's not actually a problem yet here, but it may become a, f a problem. Um, I'm going to put in campaign movement range, and I'm going to put in... Tactician? Yeah, yeah, a tactician could be kind of handy. This guy is doing well. He's just defeated another great army. Now it's time for him to move on. I could actually send this army. The Blades of Mercy, and Kyra is... Not looking too bad. We'll uh, start to siege out Dora Leon, I think. Yep, you we can do that. Let's see if they bring out another army. If they do uh, have another army, I don't think I can fight that one, though. Um, and I'm going to put in... I've got the money. I might put in that other unit of Georgian Lancers, because they were pretty good. They were very good. Um, or do I just get some more... Or do I just get some expensive guard archers? Or trebizond archers? We'll get some expensive trebizond archers, I think. Ooh, I don't know. Now, I think I'm just gonna get some... Ooh, we could just get some more... Uh, like... Cav like this. Mm. No, more melee cav. Georgian cavalry it is. There we go, done. I did it. I've made the decision. Georgian lancers are the way. They are the way of uh, us conquering. It's an alright amount of infantry, a lot of cav, and a fair amount of archers. It's a pretty well spread army. Um, will be perfect for taking Constantinople. Um, so I'm going to end the turn, and we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully we can take... I'll probably send this army to help out take Dora Leon, or however you pronounce that. And then we'll probably go down for Smyrna down here. I'll send one of the armies off to Rhodes. Maybe help take out the Seljuks as well for once and for all. They seem to be in a pretty bad state. But Trebizond is on the rise, guys. It is going to be the Emperor. It is soon to happen. I'm a bit worried about rebellions in other parts of the Empire, but I'm sure we can sort that out. Okay, are they going to attack? They are going to attack. Interesting. Um... This one I'm not so sure about, because my uh, army is pretty beaten up, so I'm going to retreat. They will, can't, yeah, they can't do any damage. Uh, they're going to take Ankara, aren't they, for nothing? Yeah. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Oh, stupid Pope. Oh, well. Um, we'll send the army back from Nicaea, and we'll send that other army into Nicaea. Oh, I, stupid. I should have seen that they were going to just take that. I hate that it takes so long to rebuild a garrison. I've been playing a lot of Rome 2 recently, and it just basically takes, like, no time. You just go, yeah, that's fine. Just knock it down. Military alliance, yeah, that's fine. I've got some allies now in the world, um, which is always good. Right, we've lost a city, yes, I know. Silk lost as a resource, I know, it's sad. Um, you force march to Nicaea. Uh, do that, please. And you can start sieging Ankara down. Thank you very much. Um, and you've had a rebellion, as expected. The Wrath of Heaven. It's not really my problem anymore now. Where they are. I'm going to just pull back. They're not actually now my problem. And it's going to go... Uh, the income of 
is going to go down. Um, this is still taking a lot of negatives, so I'm not going to fiddle around with that. Um, I'm going to put in an icon maker in the Malatya, and that will not help necessarily with, uh, but it's going to give me more money, 500 more money. Um, can you just get to Nicaea, please? You're not actually going to be able to reach it either. Oh, but you're actually fine. You've got a garrison going now. Or you should have a garrison. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty basic one, but that's fine. And Kyra would just have to make sure that everything's safe here. you at war with... No, you're not at war with Empire of Nicaea. Well, that's annoying. Um, I'm probably just going to end the turn again. There's not... Unless there's something I can do... Doubt it. I need to find more people to the west. The people in the east are not really uh, liking me. So in the turn, retake Ankyra. It's like we we make one step, but then we uh, we fall back on about another one. We take one two steps forward, one step back, or one step forward, two steps back. Is that the saying? I can't remember. It's one or the other. But we'll take Ankyra. We'll kill this general. And his that small piddly army, and then we'll. Uh, they want a peace tree. I'm tempted to be fair. Yes, I'm going. Yes, yes. Actually, I will end the war with the Seljuks for now, because that a that gives me more money, which is always great. Money is great. Um, but also, I just don't want to have to fight them uh, when I'm really just fighting a Nicaea. It's just another little avenue that I've got to take. It would be great to take uh, Atalaya. I may come back and take it. But it's not my main problem. And that's fine that Kaf has rebelled. I can kill them like so. And this will go back to zero. If this is going to be the cons uh, what cost constantly happens in Kaffa, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, yep, yeah, he's dead. The Trebizon pretenders are dead. You move into Nicaea temporarily. Actually, I could. Hmm, no, I'm just gonna just kill you off very aggressively. Retake Ankyra. There we go. Stabbed in the neck again. This. The Emperor has temporarily had to return home. Oh, we've lost a spear unit, though. Ah, That's sad. Uh, do that. Repair that. Repair that. We don't have the money. We don't have the money. We no. We'll repa replace that spear unit in a minute. Recruitment time for nobles. And I'd like replenishment to go up, actually. Integrity's fine. Um, put you into Nicaea for now, so you're happy. And we've got two open slots in Nicaea. Um, yeah, these guys are becoming a bit of a problem. That's fine. They can be that rebel army can do its thing. I think we have a large enough force here to defend it. Yes, we have a large enough force here to defend that. And this army here in Malatya should be more than enough itself. And I could, re could recruit more. I'm tempted. I am tempted. What can you recruit? Eh, pretty much rubbish. Though those archers are pretty handy. Um. Don't know what what I want here. Maybe, maybe an artist studio. What comes after that? Hmm. Mosaic. I could really do with some happiness actually in here. I think. Because why? Oh, actually, no. Food is food the reason why you're not happy. Don't know actually. You're just not very happy. Religious differences, instability. Oh, the instability will go down. And that'll sort that problem out there. Um, I may put in just a happiness thing. Maybe put in just like a platea or something like that. Or whatever, however you say that. A platea. There's going to be a rebellion in Sinope in a couple of turns time. So I may go to send the walkers the way there for one turn. Um, you guys could... I don't know. One turn, one turn, one turn. Um, I'll put some archers in, actually. put some. Ar this could be a very heavy missile army, but... That's fine. Um, put them in, and then we may go and siege Doralean next turn. That might be an idea. If I could recruit a unit of swords instead, I would have them in an instant because they are so good. Oh, we've got stuff you can do. Brilliant. Uh, more tax then, and construction cost. 
Thank you. Um, you can have your governor, so you can have that, and tax, please. Thank you. So I'll help with the taxes. Taxes, please. Always need to pay your taxes. So if that army just comes and attacks us, I'm not even too scared. They may go after some other unfortunate faction, which would be quite funny instead. I'm not really too bothered if they carry on rebelling. They're raiding in a different territory. It's not mine. And it's bringing down the uh, public order turn by turn of these guys. Oh uh, no, I can't keep giving you more stuff, so I'm sorry. I'm going to have to say no to that one. Stop doing business in Ankyra. Just leave them alone. Defensive Alliance. Yes, please, Antioch. Oh, yes, and Jerusalem. I'm not joining any military alliances, though, and I'm not joining your wars against the Ubids. Um, we've had enough of that problem. Uh, oh, uh, I don't want to have to do this. Fine, we'll have to raise a small army and Kaffir and garrison it. So we're at war with the Kipchaks to our north, but I'm not going to fight them. It's just too much of a hassle. And the Seljuks have fought, I presume, fought a rebel army themselves, but it's not my rebel army. That's so that's fine. Did he? What did he succeed in doing? Preaching intolerance. That's fine. I saw the, the bloody knife and I thought he killed my... My, uh... My Bezalius. I was like, no! Not him. Anyone but him. Right. Um, you can have personal influence um, and you can get uh, just put authority in there you go perfect done um, you've also got this what can this do have that and then have that perfect so he's gonna get some more influence uh, right try and siege Dorley in again nice has now got a garrison it's fairly good um, you can do that so there should be no real army around I'm gonna send this army back to so nope for one turn. Yes, it's gonna take a little hit. Is Ankyra. Um can I now put this in? Yes, I can put a walled city in, which is what I want to put in for the hundredth time. And no you can't do that, so I'm gonna put you into here. Because I want to get another spear unit. Thank you. Uh and then I'm gonna put in what did I want? I need this one, don't I? So then get Cult literary revival. So we're going to do that one. Um, okay. Oh, so the uh, armies. Oh, so the rebels did get killed off by the soldiers. They must have uh, pissed them off enough and just decided, right, that's it. We're killing you. Um, which is fine. Um, we can deal with. We don't have to deal with the soldiers. So we don't have any available mercenaries there. Is it only because it's. Oh, is it probably because it's foreign territory? Foreign territory, I bet. And they were just like, no, no, no. You don't have any more. Um. Right, I may have to raise a small army here. I have a feeling I could take Bilgorod. Uh, Bilgorod. That's actually very orthodox. Wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, Theodorus, other nobles. Well, they're both other nobles. Um, if I'm going to put anyone in, it's going to be this guy, the brother in arms. He can have a small. So expensive though is his, um, like upkeep. Just to put there. So I'll have this small army here. He can just stay around there. Do his thing. Um, you could adopt someone. I could... Oh no. Let's uh, secure loyalty actually. Secure loyalty of this guy. He's a general. I did not realise you were so... Uh, undisloyal. Oh and you've come an age. Or oh, you've not quite come of age. And Leon's the same. Yeah. Well at least they're nearly of age. And Leon and that can uh, control armies soon. Excellent. Anyway. Let's see. what. Well, we can't do much. I don't think I'm going to take Dora Leon in the next... Uh, I don't know. We'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. I'll see if I can take it. And then we'll probably wrap up the episode if we can take Dora Leon this turn. Because that'll be a great place to stop. Because we'll have taken our two objectives for this episode. Nicia and Dora Leon. I'm definitely producing... Uh, pronouncing these names wrong. I do apologize to like anyone that does know how to pronounce them. It's just not gonna happen 
you get past like yeah here they come with their huge armies um i may have to re just recruit like a load of rubbish militia i had a feeling this was gonna be the case unless they can make peace I'd re i could just lose kaffa it's not really helping me i could then just become a turkish bound empire soon to also involve constantinople Right, so they're not going to relieve, relieve the siege. Wavering loyalty. I thought I secured a loyalty. Yes, I did. So Trebizond, there's a population surplus. The Zengids, we found. A rebellion imminent here. That's fine. We're going to put it down in the turn that it arrives. Kaffa. Well, how many? How large is this army? And it's all horse archers. I'm just not going to go out and fight you. Ready for orders. Uh, let's just put some militia spears in. Put four units, uh, three units in. Put some cheap militia spears in. That'll sort out any problem. Um, how many more turns to this? Let's put a ram in. We take this settlement. Um, and then I guess we just could leave it like that. Malatya is kind of getting better, but it's also kind of not. Religious difference is still not sorted out, but it is going in the right direction. Um, you can build priests here. Build priests. Recruit priests. Um, which is always an option. Uh, a list of these guys we found. We found them, but I don't really care about them. Um, Let us use our time to right, we've got non-aggression with them. Um, that's fine. I don't really need anything else with them. The Ayubids are still all the way out there. The Abbasids, they probably like me because I've made a treaty Welcome, with them. Welcome. Come, sit. Enjoy the yeah, I didn't think they'd do anything else. Yeah, I'm still... I don't know. What ranking am I now? I'm strength ranking 3. And I'm steadfast. And I'm noteworthy in Imperium. Ah, we found Hungary. Be welcome. I listen they are also at war with the Kipchaks. Today. And they are high. 1300? No, but how how high could we go? Let's see. I think 1000 and you, you'd be like, yes, I'm all over that 1000. So I will really want a priest, so I can go and start converting some places. Can I get military access? Can I get some more money out of you? Say maybe 500? No. Could I make that 300? No. Okay, well, I'll come back for that another day. Um, Nicaea is going... I could also put a building in, but there's none of the buildings there I actually want. So we'll build a, get a build a priest. We will get a priest. Uh, authority, please. More authorities. So there we go. He's called Bezalius as well. Bezalius. It's very close. Well, we're going to send you over to Ma uh, Ma Malatya. Because that is uh, where you need to go, Sonny. And you need to start pr uh, preaching there. And converting this place. Because it's too much the wrong religion. And Trebizond's also got an ex uh, a thing, well, an expansion. I'm probably going to put in uh, a tavern there. Probably put in a tavern, yeah. Uh, so anyway, guys, I think this is where we're going to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment if there's anyone that you want me to go after or you think there's anything I could uh, do in this campaign that... Uh, you would you would do yourself like you like I, no you shouldn't have made peace with the Seljuks go and kill them it's a free settlement or um, you should take out the Seljuks pretenders I don't know um, it's very much up to you or if you want me to go to, and war with the Kipchaks in the north I'm more than open to suggestions just leave it in the comments and I'll uh, I'm sure I'll look at it and probably reply and anyway guys until next time Legionnaires.